Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. Despite more people living in cities than ever before and increasingly stringent fuel economy standards, there are still big things to tow and heavy materials to haul, and Americans still prefer to do those things with pickup trucks. The Chevrolet Silverado has long been one of the top choices for truck buyers, and this latest 2019 version is a prime example of how the full-size pickup truck is adapting to modern needs. To show off this new age pickup, Chevrolet took us to Jackson Hole, Wyoming for a few days of driving both on and off road. Exterior changes are obvious and polarizing. It's a love it or hate it look, but there are quite a few different styling themes within the lineup. Now the new Silverado hasn't gone the way of the F-150 in going all aluminum. Now they have used some aluminum. They put it on the doors and the hood and the tailgate. They did keep the bed steel, which uh, if you've seen any of their commercials, they claim is a lot better, especially if you drop a toolbox on its corner. But no, they use quite a few different metals in this truck, from high strength steel to just regular steel, it's an aluminum. All of that translates to almost 500 pounds of weight savings. The interior is familiar to anyone who's owned a GM product, with a back seat that sees three inches in additional legroom. The infotainment screen is modest in comparison to what's offered in the new Ram 1500, but it's all legible and easy to use. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available, but perhaps more important in the truck segment is Chevrolet's integration of new towing features. With cameras and sensors galore, the aim is to provide confidence for amateurs and advanced features for seasoned veterans. Another nice convenience feature is an available automatic opening and closing tailgate which leads to a wider bed complete with 12 fixed tie downs. There will be quite a few powertrain options offered in the new Silverado, including a turbo four cylinder and an inline six diesel. But on this trip, the trucks were split between the 355 horsepower 5.3 liter and 420 horsepower 6.2 liter V8s. You do get two different transmissions between the 5.3 liter and the 6.2 liter V8s. 5.3 liter gets an 8-speed automatic transmission. We've seen that with Chevy products. The new 10-speed is only with the 6.2 liter right now. It's super smooth up through the gears. When you do downshift, like going up this hill right now, it takes a little bit. I mean, it has 10 gears, so it's gonna take a minute to get to that gear. So while it does take a little bit of time, it does choose a gear and then stick with it. A uh, big thing in the powertrain is new dynamic fuel management. That's a little different than active fuel management. Active fuel management would go between uh, V4 mode and V8 mode in their V8s, saving fuel. Now with dynamic fuel management, it gets way more complicated and you can actually run on, they say, two cylinders. It is a really complicated system, so that worries me a little bit because there is a lot in the valve lift system and cylinders shutting on and off. But I can say driving it today, it is imperceptible. I can't tell what's happening. I don't know how many cylinders I'm running on. It's actually quite remarkable that they can do all of this without it even being noticeable to the driver. In addition to our on-road drive, we took the newly offered Trail Boss on a short off-road course, although it was not short on mud. The Trail Boss comes standard with the Z71 package, a two-inch suspension lift from the factory, Rancho monotube shocks, and more aggressive Goodyear rubber. With all the additional off-road goodies like downhill descent control and an automatic locking rear differential, the Trail Boss cruised through the course with little difficulty. For those who need the extra ground clearance but not the full Trail Boss treatment, the factory-installed lift can be had on most Silverado models. There's still a lot more to cover, so look for a full road test of the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado coming up in our new season of Motor Week starting in September.